Hey there, Mr. Johnson, or as one of your proposed translations says, who goes there, middle-aged man of questionable marital status, Johnson? It's Wednesday, June 6th. I did actually appreciate your showing me outside, even though it was dark. Um, it reminded me of home, and I really appreciated that. I've been thinking a lot about home recently because, you know, I'm in my last term of my contract. I'm in the middle of trying to get some contract negotiations for next year, which will hopefully include a chance to go home for a little bit. But you think that Florida is the only place that is hot and humid? You clearly have not been to Korea in the summer. Korea at the present is kind of like March or April in Florida, if you can imagine that. But coming soon is the rainy season, also known as monsoon season, and it's going to be, um, interesting. <laughs> it's going to be raining, like, nonstop, and in the meantime, it'll be, like, 90 degrees Fahrenheit, which, for those of you who prefer to use Celsius, is about 35 to 40 degrees Celsius, I think. So, yeah, it's going to be kind of miserable. Except I don't know if it's actually going to be that miserable, because having lived in so many places in my life, I've learned to just appreciate the weather for what it is. So many of my friends here have actually gotten really weirded out by me, because it'll be, like, 80 degrees outside and kind of humid and I'll be like, oh, it's a nice day out today. But by the same token, while I was student teaching, there were many days when I would walk 45 minutes to the high school where I was teaching and it was snowing and below zero. So basically, long story short, I'm a pretty adaptable person and I've learned to appreciate lots of different kinds of weather, but there are certain kinds of weather that remind me of certain places and this is starting to remind me of Florida. About which, of course, I have pretty much the same opinion as you. I'd like to be somewhere where it's kind of cooler and overcast and and just generally like a mild place to be. Which is one of the reasons why I loved Edinburgh so much, because really just Edinburgh. In other words, I am going to return to Scotland as soon as I possibly can, which will probably be something that I will include in my time at home if and when I get to go home. But I really don't have all that much information on it right now. I've actually only been informed that somebody is going to talk to the vice president of our branch who is in charge of contract negotiations with the teachers, so hopefully I'll have more information and an actual plan soon. I definitely want to come back though. I'm assimilating pretty easily into Korean culture as evidenced by the fact that before filming this video I thought it's going to take me about half an hour to make this video. I guess I should start soaking my rice now. And this rice is actually black rice, which I was pretty excited to learn how to make because Korean Koreans are not too big on adding things to their rice when they eat it. They like eating their rice pretty plain. Or if you want to add something, you'll like let it, let your stew like drain on it or whatever. But you really don't do much with your rice. But when you make black rice, it tastes a little bit different and it's just more interesting to eat. And it's, you know, unique to Korea. So I just like that experience too. I think I talked about that a little bit too long, but we'll see when I edit this. Safe! I'm going crazy, Tim. I'll see you tomorrow.